Whoa. There we go. There we go. Got to got to turn that off. God forbid YouTube will have a have a fit. Have a fit. All right. All right, it is, what the hell day is it? It's Thursday. One day just runs over into the next. Thursday. I want to show you, you know, I always got to ramble off topic. I want to show you this uh, bottle opener I just, I know, like I don't have enough bottle openers, right? But here's the deal. You ever need a bottle opener and then realize you don't have a bottle opener? Or maybe you think, oh, there's a bottle opener that's on the end of that spatula that I have out on the grill. Convenient if you're out there barbecuing or grilling. But then you go out and drag that around. You're carrying this thing around this long, right? So, so I got a bottle opener. Then I saw this at a swap meet last weekend. So I saw this West Coast Choppers, this old... I don't know how old it is. I, I think it's kind of old. Bottle opener. And I picked it up for just a couple bucks. And it works great. Works really great. It does. Works pretty good. But this is the best bottle opener by far so far that I've been able to acquire. And this sucker works. What I mean by best bottle opener is it works better than any of them. It's uh, called a bottle breacher. I don't know if you've seen it. Comes in various formats. I mean, it's all 50 caliber bullets. It's a real 50 caliber bullet and they machine cut with laser cut or whatever uh, cut it into a bottle opener and it works excellent and i believe i'm pretty sure it's a veteran owned company um i would imagine maybe some of the proceeds you know go toward uh, disabled vets or wounded warrior project or something i'm not sure i should probably read up on some of this shit before i uh, make a video about it I don't know those things. I'm pretty sure it is veteran-owned company bottle breacher. Anyway, it's pretty cool. But watch how well it works. Watch. It works like. Now watch now. It, I'll fumble and it won't work, right? Look how good it works. It's just effortless. It works great. It works great. Because when I first looked at it, I said, hmm, looks pretty thick. I wonder how uh, sturdy this shell casing is actually going to be for a bottle opener. Very sturdy, it turns out. Works great. Relax, kids. Just a root beer. Just a root beer. All right, let me get myself myself together. I think I will have a cigar. Been working hard this week, and uh, the work's been kind of scarce this week. It's getting to be that time of the year. I know. Some of you people watching this just are watching it because of what the topic is. You're not really following me or the channel or Gorilla with a Cause. You're not down with any of that shit. So you probably don't give a fuck about this, and you'll probably click off before I get to it. And you already know what this is, right? It's uh, Drew Estates Acid Cigar C-Note. Come in little packs of five. Awesome cigar. And it's a little chilly out here. I got the heat on, but I got uh, one of us has kind of been bogarting all the shit that actually only one of us pays for. Like this guy, for example. Yeah. Bro, I don't mind sharing, but you don't need the whole bottle. Look, he's done drunk himself already this early in into a, a, some kind of a catatonic state, catatonic state there. Give me that. Turn this back around here. There we go. Okay, now we're good. Maybe I'll just have a pull off of this. You don't mind, do you? I didn't think so. A small one. Mm. That is some very smooth bourbon. Bib and Tucker. If you don't, if you don't know, now you know. Okay. 
So here's what I'm going to talk about. Here's what the topic is. And, uh, you know, I'm kidding around. I like to laugh around, laugh and play around, fuck off. But uh, enjoy myself, have a good time. But this is some, some serious, uh, truthful stuff here. Um, you know, I had gotten up to, and, and one of you, one of your brother's guests, hit the nail dead accurate on the head. Sometime back, I made a video when I was thinking I'm going to get big again, and I only wanted to get a little bit more muscular and leaner. I was always getting leaner. That's not a new turn of events. Um, but, you know, ever since I had this, this abdominal repair, I've been getting leaner, slowly. But I decided now I'm going to put some more size back on. And it got a little out of hand. And I was at the time of the video that I made doing some uh, cable work in the gym. I was in the gym and I shot a little video showing a few cable exercises for arms. Some of my favorites in the gym. And I asked anybody, can anybody guess? Anybody want to take a stab what I'm weighing? You know, and one brother got it exactly right. He said 263. And that's exactly correct. That was on the nose at that time. So now... I'm quite a bit lighter than that. That's been a couple of months. Um, and it's by design. The reason is, yeah, a lot of people are pointing out to me, dude, how big are you going to get now at your age? You're going, you will be 60 this coming year. How big are you? In 2022, I'll be 60 years old. So how big are you going to get? How many guys? I had some friends of mine say to me, you know, why are you walking around? And it's 260s again. Where is this going to stop? You're going to go to 270? What are you doing? How many guys your age do you see walking around that big? You know? They're all dead. <laughs> so um, they're dead or, or, or they come to terms with the reality that it's too much on, on your heart. It's just too much, all that tissue. So I decided to, uh, you know, go ahead, lean down, drop some size, see what happens. So in the meantime, I've always been looking for an alternative to uh, testosterone replacement. And yeah, there are times that I'm running straight, legit, medically prescribed TRT. And there are other times when I'm bumping it up a little bit. And when I say I'm bumping up a little bit, I'm talking like maybe 300 megs a week. I don't go, nowadays, I don't go that high. I've been doing this for over 30 years. I don't know. I'm not going to sit here and try to figure out how many years. Over 30. Over three decades. So, and, and in the time, and I've said this before, believe it if you want to. If you don't want to believe it, I don't give a fuck. It's, it means nothing to me either way in my life. My life will be the same tomorrow and tonight, whether you believe it or you don't believe it. So, what's the point? I mean, if everybody believes it, that's great. I don't get anything out of it. It doesn't improve my life one bit. And if everybody disbelieves it, same thing. So, you know, I don't have any motivation to bullshit you. I'm trying to share something, which I hope all you guys do in the comments section, man. Share your life experiences. Share with me what you've learned. If there are points or tidbits or angles I haven't considered any time I make a video about anything, I would hope that your brothers and sisters are going to share with me and say, hey, bro, did you look at it this way? Or, hey, did you know this? Or did you think about that? You know, that kind of thing. Um... And as I've said before, more often than not, in the time I have been on YouTube, I have been off of any kind of supplemental testosterone. In other words, no outside testosterone. If I had any testosterone in my body, it was what I made, what I'm still making at these ages that I've been on YouTube. More than half of the time you have seen me in YouTube, I've been off. I come off for a year. I come off for seven, eight months. I do it all the time. And I take breaks from training. That's not unusual. After 30 some years, I'll take a break. I'm not going to fall into so, such total disrepair and poor shape uh, that I'm, that I'm you know, going to be risking anything, which it would be a risk. At my age, with uh, the wear and tear that's been on my skeletal structure over the years, if I don't keep up a certain amount of muscular development and strength, 
yeah, I'm going to start to have all these old man symptoms. I'll have an aching back. I'll have aching joints. I'll have all these issues that I live without. Other than when I've had surgical repairs, shit like that, you know, I tore a quad, I had knee surgery. Okay, of course that shit, you have to rehab from all that. Uh, the surgery I had, the abs, had that uh, diastasis recti thing done where they pull it together, sew it back up, make it tight again like when you were young. All that bullshit. So, barring that, that you're going to have aches and pains. You just have to rehab and overcome and then pick back up and, and, and you know, get the ball and run with it again. Um, but beside that, you know, as long as I've always worked out and trained and kept in good shape, flexibility-wise, as uh, muscularly, um, I don't have I don't have those aches and pains, man. I don't feel like an old man. But I do know my testosterone production is not what it was as a younger man. Absolutely not. I feel that. I definitely feel that. Those low T symptoms. Uh, I was off one time for a better part of a year, almost a year. And it's, you can see it in the videos. They're there. I talk about it. I have one video called uh, F This Low T Bullshit or something like that. And it was just because I had been off like a year. I gave it a fair shake. And I really, I still looked good. I was training hard. I looked better than this. I was training. Now I'm not training at all. I haven't been training for about eight weeks or better. Uh, I'm not really eating very much at all. And, uh, you know, so I've atrophied muscularly besides just losing overall body weight and body fat. But that time, and it wasn't that long ago, a couple years ago, I was off for the better part of a year. Like I said, videos out there, something about sick of this low cheap bullshit or something. And uh, it wasn't that I couldn't maintain a decent physique. It was much harder. It was much harder to do, but I could do it without test at all. But uh, I had all the low T symptoms. I was dragging ass, you know, run down, tired, um, didn't have that kind of energy that I need to have to do the things that I do. You know, all that kind of shit. All that low T bullshit, you know. So for me, the majority of the time, even if I just turn back to TRT, legit TRT, prescribed TRT, it's because of all those things. I don't mind the extra additional work. I don't mind, you know, working hard to keep the size on, but I don't like feeling poorly. I don't like to feel unhealthy, and that's how you feel with low T. Um, and the low T, the, the T, the testosterone in any amount absolutely makes it easier to hold muscle, to put muscle back on. And again, muscle memory, we all know, is a real well-studied and documented thing now that you actually uh, build and create, develop new and additional nuclei, muscle nuclei, that you didn't have before you started training. So even if you've been training for many years, when you stop, you have more muscle, you literally have more muscle tissue, muscle cells, than you had when you first began as a newbie, than when you first began, however long ago that was. So sure, they can atrophy as well. But then when you come back and resume training, you gain it back all the faster, uh, much, much faster than it took you initially to acquire it because you have more muscle now. You just have more. It's just atrophy. It's just like anything, you know. Anyhow, so here we are today, and I've been off all this time, and I have found a supplement regimen that, it's my testosterone is, is better than it has been in decades. My own natural testosterone. I feel freaking great. I feel better on this than when I'm on testosterone. I feel better now than when I'm on testosterone. And that's never been the case before. But it is the supplemental shit that I'm using. The supplements, the over-the-counter supplements I'm using. Now, I've already had one brother comment. In a video I made prior to this, when I was explaining, I'm going to make this video. Uh, and he said, well, there's no way that something you can take is going to increase your testosterone. Because if it did, it would be pulled from the shelves, be considered a drug, blah, blah, blah. That's true. But here's what I think is going on. Now, am I right? Uh, I can tell you what. 
it's it my testosterone level is higher than it's been in decades without taking any testosterone now which i i can accredit that to the supplementation but am i saying that that supplement is causing that no no what i'm i don't know how it works do i need to know i'm curious but i don't really need to know i just know it works um but it's so amazing to me that it works that I want to share it. So uh, it becomes incumbent upon me, I feel, to try and explain how it works. How can this be? I don't really think that the supplement in and of itself is doing it. I think more likely, okay, first we have to look at this low testosterone uh, epidemic, all right? Testosterone levels are down more than 60% in the past 50 years. Google that shit. Lots of studies out there about it. 2017, July, LabCorp published a bulletin. You know, to whoever, it concern, whoever, whomever it concerns, we are lowering the range at which we consider normal testosterone for men. Again. And it's, it wasn't a big secret. It's not a conspiracy thing. It's out there. Google it. You can read it. Came out in July 2017. It was a big deal because they normalize illness. If everyone is low, it's normal to be low. I don't know why people don't get that. Oh, well, I'm in the normal range. Yeah, that's low. That's low. 50 years ago, your counterpart or you, had you been born earlier and lived then, you would have had, on the average, 60% more testosterone naturally. But you're in the normal range now, but back then you would have been considered very low. It's just like the different heavy metals that they find in your blood now, normal. There are four in particular. Don't expect me to name them off the top of my head. Uh, not a walking encyclopedia, but there are four heavy metals that are found now. It's normal. It's normal to find them in your body. They even have decided, well, this is a normal amount that we expect to see or within this normal range. But 50 years ago, 70 years ago, 100 years ago, it would not have been normal. It would have been very abnormal to find any of those things. It would have been perplexing to find any of that in your blood. It didn't happen. It didn't exist. Today, it's commonplace and everybody considered normal. If everybody has it, then it's normal to have it. You understand? Okay, so why are test levels low? Well, they've been attributing, attributing this epidemic to um, environmental endocrine disruptors. Now they have some new acronym and some new name they call it, but that's what they were calling it for out how long? Environmental endocrine disruptors. It's all the toxins. It's all the toxins in the water, in the air, in the ground, in the food. Um, it's the radio wave frequency shit that we're exposed to 24 seven passing through our bodies. It's the cell phones, it's everything. You think there's no effect? All the shit in the air, you don't see, just cause you don't see it, you don't think it's there? You don't think there's cell phone waves and these microwaves and this shit's not passing through you? Can you put your phone, turn your back and hide your phone uh, and, and the signal can't pass through you? Of course not, it passes right through you. It passes, you know, all kinds of shit radio waves, all kinds of shit. You think that has no effect on a human being? No effect, right? No effect. When we first came into being on this planet, did any of that shit exist? No, it's not part of our developmental structure. You know, it hasn't evolution, or more likely what I say, adaptation, hasn't accounted for this. It didn't exist at the time. How could it? So you think it has no Influence, it has influence, it has a negative effect. Um, we don't even know what it feels like to be healthy today. God only knows what, what, what it would have felt like to have been a normal man a hundred years ago. What would that have felt like? Probably would, would have been phenomenal. You would probably think you're Superman compared to what you feel like today, even on a good day. Anyway, you know, believe it if you want, it, it's the truth. It's the truth. What other conclusions can you come to? Google, study, it's the truth. So I think more likely, I don't say this supplement raises your testosterone. What I say is that this supplement, now there's a few of them I'm taking together, 
But this one in particular, because I've taken the others together before and haven't experienced this, but one in particular with a lot of help from one of the second ones, and I'm going to list them in a minute, but I want you to give it a chance. I think they're creating an environment. I think that they are maybe, you know, one of them is a hell of an antioxidant, a hell of an antioxidant. And I think that maybe, first you have to understand what oxidation is, what it does to you. It's all of us. Um, I think that it is creating an environment where it is shielding or it is combating a lot of the oxidate, oxidative stress, a lot of the oxidation and a lot of the negative impact that all these toxins are having. I think it maybe is shielding us or repairing some of this or it's, it's above and beyond doing something to protect you from some of this or allow you to recover from some of this or to uh, rise above some of this so that your own body is able to do what it's supposed to be able to do. That's what I think. So could you say, yeah, if I take this one supplement, my test is higher? Maybe, maybe. Now, is your test really higher? Or are you just able to utilize more of, a larger percentage of testosterone that's floating around in your bloodstream? I don't know. I don't know by what pathway, how it does what it does, but I know it does it. I know it does it, and that's why I think it's important to get it out there. I think you should try it. I think you should try it. I'm in no hurry to resume even TRT. What I'm getting ready to do, and I thought I'd never say that, but I would rather not go that route if I don't have to. And I think overall health-wise, what I feel like, productivity-wise, on the job even, attitude-wise, I think this is better. I think it's better. You know, why am I going to re return to something else that was that I thought was awesome when this is, is better? I'm not going to. Uh, you know, I, I can't say I'll never will. I don't know. But so far, it's great. Now I'm getting ready to return to the gym. Then we're going to see. Because I can build the muscle naturally. Well, who's natural? You know, I've been doing this how many years? So it's not like a regular guy. I've got all this muscle memory. I've got all these additional nuclei. <clears throat> so I know I can do it without taking any testosterone at all. I know I can get bigger than this. So what can I do with this while doing that? If I can still build as much muscle and not have any of the negative sides from low T, then that is a, a triple win to me. Huge. That's why I want to share it. And <clears throat> the reason I've waited to introduce what it is until this point in this video is because if I showed you this off the top, you would have been like, ah, I've already heard of that. You've already spoken of that one other video some time ago, but that was when I first started taking it. And it was working miracles then. Yeah, I can't go without it. It's incredible. Here's what I'm taking. I do every day, of course, you know, I use sport formula because it's live enzyme, raw ingredients, cold processed. It's the best multi I've ever used. It's more than a multi, but all I care about, everything else is just additional icing on the cake. I don't have to give thought to. I'll take it. It's all additional extra, extra win. I use it because it's a hell of a multivitamin. It fills in the blanks. Trace amounts of all kinds of shit that lack in my diet. Because the food's not what it used to be. The ground is not what it used to be. Our vitamins and minerals and, and our ability to process these things are not what they used to be. It just is not. So this fills the gap for me. Been using it for a long time now. Love it. Um, sport formula. And yes, have a relationship with uh, Jimmy, the owner, Sport Formula. Go to sportformula.com, use the code GWAC. And I don't know what you'll get, but you'll get something. I mean, sometimes you get two for not, two for one. Sometimes you get one for nothing. Sometimes you just pay shipping. Sometimes you don't even have to pay shipping. I don't know how he does it, but it's very generous of him. Sometimes you may save, maybe save 15%, 20%, 10%, 30%. I don't know. If you're all you're interested, go check it out. Um, and what do I get for this? I get product. I get product. They make more than multivitamins now. 
this is what I love, I get product. And what do I do with the product? Most of the time I give so much of it away that I end up without any for myself. But, uh, I, can't, I love it. I've been taking it a long time. <coughs> Next thing is I use a probiotic. Why? I know, I know. Buster's already going, oh, this is bullshit. Then don't watch the video, man. Don't watch the video. You know, live within your ignorance, your, your, your small little paradigm. I use blue biotics. That's what I use. I get nothing from this company. I have no relationship with them. I don't even know who in the hell they are. But I, get, I use blue biotics. It's a subscription thing that I have with them. They send me one every month. I pay for it full price every month. It's worth it to me. If it wasn't worth it to me, I wouldn't spend the coin on it. Um, <clears throat> it's a probiotic. I also bought their prebiotic, but it is not necessary. Don't even use it now because there is a prebiotic in this, in this probiotic. I don't want to get into wasting time talking about it. I'm already wasting enough, right? I don't want to get into time explaining what it all is, but I will say this just as a reminder. I said it before. If you hadn't heard it, look it up if you don't believe me. Up, they say they attribute as much as 70% of your immune system is dependent upon your gut health. In other words, your gut health is poor. Your gut health is eh, average. What's average today? Sickness. Sickness. So, mediocre gut health, mediocre immune system. Awesome gut health, much better immune system. If you're being bombarded with toxins and environmental endocrine disruptors, I think immune system is a big thing. So I take this, blue biotics, probiotics, take two a day. Um, and I'll tell you what, stuff's powerful enough, works well enough. If you miss a day, once in a while, you're still okay. Good shit. Just being honest. I also use, I take two grams of liposomal vitamin C. Vitamin C is a hell of an antioxidant. Is it the greatest antioxidant on the planet? I don't know. Maybe it's not. But it does have some qualities other antioxidants do not have. It has an additional electronic and loan. Don't make me get into all this. It's all about the flow of electrons. If you have a high flow of electrons, you're a healthy individual. Poor flow of electrons, you're a sickly individual. Uh, if you have no flow of electrons, you're a dead individual. So again, Google it, read it. Take, if you're not gonna take my word for it, then look for yourself. The reason I got stuck on the vitamin C thing is because it's very easy to find liposomal vitamin C. Whereas you, it's not always easy to find liposomal other things, other antioxidants that I think are really good and strong. Liposomal just means the vitamin C molecule is encapsulated in a fat lipid so that it can survive your stomach digestion, your stomach acids, so that it can get into your intestines and be absorbed through the intestinal wall into the bloodstream. Whereas if you take these, I don't know, Immuno C or this, uh, I don't know what all they have, the little vitamin C packets that are powdered. It's a gram in each one, 1,000 milligrams as well. That's not liposomal. Vitamin C is too bowel tolerance. You cannot take enough vitamin C in that form to get anything out of it other than a placebo effect. Sorry, it is what it is. And I had one guy one time comment, why don't you just eat an orange? Do you have a little vitamin C is in an orange? It's like trace amounts. Grams. And that's where vitamin C does its thing. But liposomal vitamin C has the efficacy um, almost equal to, it's arguable, almost equal to intravenous delivered vitamin C which is not a acid in your veins, it's another, it's another form of vitamin C. If you just take regular vitamin C, it's not liposomal, it's only like 5% or less actually gets into your bloodstream. Okay, so when I take two grams of liposomal C, it's like 87% of that makes it to the cellular level in my bloodstream. That's a lot of vitamin C, hell of an antioxidant, liposomal C. And this one is, I think, the game changer, because I've taken these other things before. 
This is a true game changer. I'll tell you what, probiotics are a game changer. If you get a good probiotic, it has to be a good probiotic. Don't make me get into it. It's too long to talk about it. I made a video on probiotics not that long ago. Or Google it. Read for yourself. Come to your own conclusion. Tudka. Tudka. I've talked to you about it before. This is a brand I use. No affiliation with this company. Don't know them from Adam. Pay full price for it. Uh, this is the powder. It's the powder. I talked about it before, but it was earlier on in, this, in the game. I didn't know exactly how critical this shit would become to my health. Okay, this Tudka, I took 1,000 milligrams of this for the first month a day. Now I'm down to 500. I take 500 milligrams a day. Every, every single day, empty stomach, first thing in the morning. I don't miss. Tastes worse than L-Arginine, which you know I'm a huge proponent of. Tastes worse than L-Arginine. Uh, the L-Arginine is basically, I take it for a lot of bodybuilder reasons, but the main reason I take it is the ability it has to keep the arteries clear, keep the plaque down. Um, the friggin' Tudka? Unfucking believable. Unbelievable. I think the Tudka is what tipped the scales. I really, I, I know it is. So all I can tell you is, I know, after doing this for 30 some years, I know, you know, I've taken, in my opinion, what are fairly generous amounts of anabolics. Back in the day when I was 300 pounds, and I have taken TRT, legit TRT, and nowadays if I, uh, if I get a wild hair and I go a little heavier, I'm around 300 migs a week. But I haven't done that for, I don't know, the better part of this year, of course, because I had the surgeries, all the bullshit. Um, I've certainly had no TRT even. No TRT even for, which is a lot less than 300 milligrams. No TRT even for at least eight weeks, 10 weeks. No gym, eight weeks, 10 weeks. Been using the Tudka and these other things for, in conjunction with each other for eight weeks, nine weeks. Yeah, and I can tell you what, there, for me, there's physical proof. There's physical proof. I've had weeks at work where I'm turning 60 some hours a week. For me at my age, as long as I've been doing this, I've been doing that for 40 years. For as long as I've been doing this, I was previously burned out on it. Um, didn't really enjoy it very much anymore. It's just what I do for a living. It's what I do. But now, whole attitude change. Whole shift in my attitude and the way I look at it and view it. Now I'm reinvesting in it. I'm buying more tools and shit as if I don't already have enough. And uh, I'm enjoying it. And like I said, I'm turning like in the 60s a week. Uh, when the work is there. When the work is not there, the minimum I do is I'm turning at least 10 hours more every single week. And to me, I don't feel like I'm working anywhere near as hard as I was doing before I started taking the tug and all this shit. So... I've got good, clean energy all day. I feel good. I'm still tired. By the end of the day, when I come home, I'm tired. I can go to bed. I can sleep. I'm tired. I'm old. You know, I'm tired by the end of the day. Not as old as some. Older than many. You know, but I'll tell you what. During the day, I feel good, man. I feel good. And to me, that's what it's about. I need to be healthy. I need to be able to do what I need to do. I need to feel good. I need to, I'd like to feel good. That's an extra bonus. Because I got to do what I got to do, whether I feel good or not. I feel really good. This shit has been a game changer for me. And I don't care who believes it, who doesn't believe it. Miss out then. What if it's, what if it's right and what if it could help you to that extent? What if it could do something similar in your life? What if? And again, I have no affiliation with any of these companies except for Sport Formula. And, uh, you know, so I gained nothing out of it except for the self-satisfaction that I've shared something good with some brothers and sisters. If you try it, you know, look, it's not like it's going to break the bank. It's not cheap, but what would you pay for that kind of health? If you try it and it helps you anywhere near what it's done for me, 
then you're going to be back here telling me, dude, fucking thank you, man. It's awesome. I couldn't, I would not have believed if anybody else had told me I'd say bullshit, but it's amazing, just like you said. Game changer. Life changer. Literally, for me, it is. But if you want to say, ah, that's bullshit, I don't believe it, fuck that, it's bullshit, it's a lie, go ahead and believe that then. Go ahead and live with what you got. Maybe it's not so bad. Maybe you feel great. Congratulations if you do, man. You know, bang on, full speed ahead. Do you. But if you don't, and if you'd like to feel a little bit better, and if for you to do, man, there's still things you need to do. Even though you're getting up there in years. I think you should try it. What do you got to lose? Try it once, doesn't work for you, come back and tell me. But do it right. A thousand milligrams a day for the first month. Get evened out. And don't take it alone. Take it. It doesn't have to be this brand, I don't think. It's just, the reason I'm telling you I use this brand is because this works for me. So it works. It works. I did a bunch of research before I got this. It works for me. So if you have a better probiotic, just make sure, man, that it's active, it's live, it has something in there for the bacteria to eat. You know, it could have started out as a live bacteria, and by the time you get it, the shit could be dead. They starve to death. They're bacteria. They have to eat. They have to feed off something. And that's what prebiotics are. So this already has prebiotic in it. You know, once I got it, I keep it in the refrigerator. I don't know that that's necessary, but that's what I do. You know, that's what I would say. Um, the vitamins, all that. I, I actually think that it enables you to be healthy enough, healthy enough that you're going to be able to produce whatever test you really could have produced. If I'm not saying it improves your test 60%, I wouldn't, I wouldn't scoff at it. If, if it turned out to be that my test has improved my natural production by 60%, I wouldn't scoff at that because I know what I feel like on TRT. I know what I feel like on 300 megs a week. And I know what I feel like without any of it. And I know what I feel like with this. And with this, 300 megs a week doesn't do this for me. So now, so long as I get back in the gym now, which I'm going to do maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day, and I'll be back at it religiously. And, uh, I'll tell you another thing, too. It's really curbed my appetite. Maybe I don't need to eat so much, because like I'm saying, maybe it improves the uptake of everything. Maybe your body's functioning at a more efficient level, which it could do anyway, if it weren't for all the fucking bullshit you're exposed to. You know, I don't know. All I can say is try it, and if you're hung up on having to explain or figure out how, it works and why it works, then, you know, delve into it, man, and share with me what you find. I haven't found any study saying anything about Tudka and testosterone level. I have found studies talking about how Tudka supplementation increases your conversion of T4 to T3 and so improves metabolism. I have found studies saying that. We all know studies can be, can be flawed, so... You know, if some of the studies that you disagree with, if you're going to say, well, that's probably flawed, that may not be correct, well, then some of the ones you do agree with could also be flawed and incorrect. Who the hell knows? All I can tell you is if you take it, you do your own thing, whatever it is, and it works for you, and you feel good, you feel better, you feel better, then what, what else do you need? What else do you need to know? If you need to know more, if you find out more, you get a better idea, share it with me. All right, that's it, man. That's all there is to it. It there's, works like magic to me. I really think so. You know, jump on board with me. If you try it and it works for you, give it a fair shake. It tastes absolutely horrible. I take the powder. You may want to take the capsules. I always prefer powder because I feel like I'm in better control of the dosage. And I just feel like uh, my body doesn't have to go through all this digest in a capsule, even if it's a vegetable type of capsule or whatever. I like the powder. I don't give a shit what it tastes like. I've been doing this 30-some years. I eat a lot of stuff that tastes bad, or I have over the years. L-arginine, that don't taste so hot either. There are people who can't even take it at all, powder. 
that's it. I know this has been long-winded. I apologize for that. Um, but it's worth it if you try it and it works for you anywhere near what it does for me. It's some amazing shit. I'll tell you that. Who knows, man? I really think it's get that immune system cranked. You know, I, I think your body just uh, functions more efficiently. And everything just works like it's a little better, a little closer to what it's supposed to work like. Who knows what we would feel like 100 years ago? Who knows? But would we feel better? Would we feel stronger? Would we feel healthier? There's no doubt that, yeah, yes. Everything else equal? Yeah, absolutely we would. Anybody that, that uh, is in conflict with that is, is out of the know, that's for sure, man. Anyway, you guys take care, man. If you do try it, I hope to God it works for you like it does for me. You know, Godspeed. Have an awesome evening, and I'll see you again soon.